Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be cutting the and baling our pasture out there. Buck is on his way with his big haybine and we're going to unhook this haybine and get it going on the baler. And also we're possibly planning on loading up a couple bales and I've got to also feed our new horse which Still has, does not have a name yet because I have not picked a winner in the comments, but we're gonna hopefully do that eventually now uh, I am currently gone for till the 11th of September and These are pre-recorded videos and I will s hopefully still be able to re respond to some comments. I hope um, Just not as many as I would if I was here and I'm only gonna be uploading every every two days so uh, sorry for, about uh, leaving as my channel's kind of growing a lot here, but uh, if, you, if you gotta go away, you gotta go away, I guess. And I believe Buck is here, so we'll go out. Oh, yep, there's Buck. Let's go say hi to him here. Yo, Buck! Hey, Buck! Hey, how are you doing, Austin? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. So you oh, got good. your, uh, got your haybine over here? Indeed. We haven't gotten any mocos in yet, so we're still having to deal with New Holland stuff. So. Yeah, they, they're not the greatest thing in the world, but they'll do. Mm -hmm. Uh, you want to get mowing on that back pasture over there? You can just drive right down through there. Yeah. You got a certain boundary, like where you want me to go? Like uh, if you get that finish cut, you can go through to the next pasture if you want. Oh, okay. Good. All right. Thanks, bud. I really appreciate yeah. it coming out and helping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. No problem. All right. So Buck's gonna get going cutting on that, and we're probably gonna be bailing right behind him. I know it's not a hundred percent realistic to be bailing right behind the cutter, but. We're just gonna do it anyways, since this is farm sim. But I'm also planning on mowing my lawn uh, next episode because <laughs> I just haven't had time and I need to get hay for my horse. Also, I need to feed him at some point in this episode. Um, so in other words, what you wanted me to do was just, uh, I'm assuming, oh, I dropped the plate there. Run right along down this side, over to the fence, back around in front of the barn, to the road, back around and then just back and forth technically or in circles. Uh, if you just wanna do this, this, just this circle first and then we can go out through the gate and do the rest if we get time so in other words we're going to cut the entire thing in here possibly gotcha. depending on how how long it takes us okay so we're going to do hang on let me get this straight so we're doing this entire chunk this entire circle this, this circle it's a big circle okay. kind of not, we're not doing just an outer circle and leaving the inside uncut. That's what I'm thinking you're saying. Yeah. No, 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 no. We're just gonna do okay. this circle and then we're gonna go over to the other side if we get time. All right, I got you. All right, so Buck's just gonna get going on this. There he goes, and we're just gonna start up a tractor here and unfold our baler. And we're gonna lower, drop her down, and get going on this. There we go. Now it's putting out squares. He's just going in circles. <laughs> What is he doing? He just keeps going around in circles. <laughs> he can't quite figure out where he wants to go. There we go. Now he's got her. I think we're gonna end up missing a couple chunks of it, but it's honestly, it's fine, honestly. I'm not very worried. We're just gonna go along here so we have a bit of space going through here. But man, it seems to be putting out a good amount of square bales. I'm not, I'm gonna say we don't actually need to cut all that. Like we might make it into big rounds. Uh, I might borrow Jake's baler, big baler and his bigger tractor there and make it into some big rounds and I can just cut it by myself. Uh, and I just kinda wanted uh, Buck over here to get this done really fast cause I don't, we're getting pretty busy here, kind of getting into harvest, and Grant's gone today. So again, I don't know where where the heck he's been at, but he just said take Diddy off, and uh, we'll get back out of here pretty quick. But yeah, he said just take the take the day off again, and uh, he must be busy doing a couple other things. Maybe he's uh, out at RCC or Brop Shop buying a truck or a new truck, or uh, maybe buying a new quad instead of using mine. I finally brought mine back the other day because it was just getting ridiculous him using that thing, and uh, I bought it, so <laughs> kind of need it back. But what'd be sick is if I had a small trailer and started hauling them with a quad, but I think we're just gonna stick them on the back of my uh, truck, if anything, today. But also, another thing, I did end up getting a new water trailer, as you guys can see over there, because 
if you remember the old water tank that was just all screwed up and it was getting ridiculous to use because I had to go all the way into town to fill it up which was retarded so we just ended up buying selling that and buying a new water trailer but I am thinking uh, big round bales for the massive field there because if I don't have enough during the winter of small square bales I can just open up a big round bale and I can just use that or I can even buy them off of Jake if I want to do something end up doing something with that field actually I'm just gonna turn around here because bucks going that way but I can always do something else with that field um, but I can also turn it into big round bales and make a good amount of extra money on that I was also thinking uh, I should when I mow my lawn I'm gonna go back there mow that all back there and turn that into a fire pit area I know there's a down tree I found it back there so I'm gonna have to chop that up probably do some bit of landscaping back there with the landscape tool and uh, get it all fixed up but that is a thing for another day but we're actually getting around here pretty quick but it is gonna take a little while to uh, even just get a load of these picked up because there's just so many depending on what Buck's thinking here uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna do this field because there's no sense in doing the other one if we can just if I can do that separate by myself uh, and just take out this small one the small cutter there and just get her done Buck is still just ripping on this cutting it's honestly not gonna take him very long gonna take him half the time to cut this than it does to, for me to bail it but luckily we're not doing that all the big I don't think we're gonna be doing all the big field uh, that's just gonna be ridiculous to do honestly but we're just gonna probably get this small field done and see where we go from there all right it looks like bucks on just on his last pass here I think I'm gonna just tell him to head it back after that there's no sense in staying around if I'm just gonna be here bailing all right it looks like he's done I'll just go over there and give him a Give him a shout and tell him he can uh, probably go back if he wants. Unless he wants to stay and cut more stuff. But <laughs> I don't really want to get that other stuff cut until I, I know I have a chance to finish her off. We got this field done. Do you want me to move over to the other pasture? Or nah. Do you want me to cut? Nah, man. Uh, it's, this is going to be lots of square bales. Uh, I'll probably just ask Jake if I can borrow his big big baler and I'll probably just cut end up cutting uh, cutting the field with my hay bind. I just kind of wanted to get all these square bales done so I didn't have to keep buying square bales for my horse for now yeah it would be fine um, if you want to what I can do because of the fact that I do have the loader on here I can load a couple of those square bales in there and carry them to the front I guess you could yeah we could probably pick a couple of them up why not um, yeah I'll just start doing that then I'll, mar I'll park the I'll park in your hall and then I'll start doing that. All right, yeah. If you want to do that, just put them, uh, put them by the horse shed. All right. Um, if you can just dump them in there and I'll stack them later. Okay. Um, All right, man. I'm gonna get back at uh, bailing this since uh, I got a bit to go here yet. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start picking up your bales so we don't have to do that, and we can go from there. All right. All right, let's get back to work. All right, all right. So Buck's gonna get going on that. I'm gonna keep bailing over here because this is still gonna take a good while for me to get done. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Looks like that spot there you decided not to cut because it wasn't ready. I don't know what the heck happened there. I think uh, some stuff washed out and uh, grass didn't really grow very well on that side. Oh man, Buck unhooked fast. I've never seen anyone unhook that fast in my life. I'm just gonna let Buck know that he can use my dodge. Yo, Buck. Yeah. Uh, you can. My dodge is in the shop, or just in the shed there, like in the shop of my house. You can probably just take that and uh, use it to load up bales instead of using your bucket there, if you want. Oh, true. That is, might, uh, probably work. Is it a stick? <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, yeah, my man. Super simple. Oh, indeed. Best uh, anti-theft device of this year. Yeah, that's that's very true. Very, very true. Yes. <clears throat> no. And I'm gonna go grab that quick, because I'll I'll take one of, I'll take this load the two bales I already have in over there, but yeah. I'll go grab the dodge. Alright. Alright, that, that ought to go a bit faster for uh, Buck then. Cause that's gonna take him forever just doing it that way. Well it looks like Buck's getting a lot of bales loaded up there already. 
I'm getting done this. Uh, I still got a couple passes left. But there's a couple missed spots, but I'm not terribly worried about it because it'll just dry up, blow away, or uh, once we get them all loaded up here, I don't think we'll get them all loaded up in today's episode. But once we get them all loaded up here, uh, I can always just come back and uh, bail it on up. All right, that's about it. Should be good enough for now. Just get the last bale unloaded here. And uh, fold up our fold up our baler here. And I'm just going to rip it back to the pressure washer over here in case we'll, we'll wash it later if it needs to be washed. It probably doesn't need to be washed too bad. But I'm just going to rip it back over here. Then I think we're going to jump on our quad and uh, rip that over to give Buck a hand. We're going to jump on our old trusty grizzly here. Belt the best quad you can get. One of my favorites for sure. Believe it or not, I've never actually owned a owned a Yamaha quad in real life. I own a Yamaha dirt bike, just uh, just not a quad. So I have driven a couple of them. They're not too bad. But uh, this, the, I ended up making this mod. Uh, I bought the model a couple, I don't know how long ago, a couple of months ago. I ended up making it and I really enjoy it as a mod but I think I definitely want to get one uh, in real life one of these days but uh, let's go help Buck here you uh, you getting some bales loaded up yes all right I'm gonna help you here oh man it's hard to lift here on that fourth row on the third row I should say let me get and I think, I think I got it. Yep, I got it. Got her. It's not gonna be a perfectly straight stack, but I think it'll work. All right, get her, get her loaded. I believe so. We're looking good. You know, yeah, I think you. Yeah. I mean, this would be a lot easier if you had your straps that you wouldn't have forgotten at the dang <laughs> house. Oh well, whatever. But we'll move it. So, want to move it over there by the door, barn door? Yeah, sure. Just move it on over. Don't bring her back too much. I don't know to get her out. Ah. All right, we're just gonna huck them in here. Good lord, you got enough horse food there? I think you got enough for about five of them. Hey, I can sell these. I can sell the rest of them. Horse food goes for a good amount of money. I'm just gonna yeah. shut this off here. All right, bud. Uh, I imagine you want to get going out. Probably. I got yeah. to back. Okay, still got a long day of the dealership. But oh, thanks. Yeah. For, thanks for coming out and. Uh, Helping me with this, really appreciate it, dude. Oh no problem. Yeah, this is about. I think we almost got half here, but I can probably get the rest of them. Uh, it's not gonna be too hard for me, so. All right. Yeah, man. Thank I. Thanks for coming out. Really appreciate it. No, no, no problem. Uh, don't forget your. Uh, don't forget your um, four wheels sitting over there. Yeah, I know. I gotta. I gotta go grab that. I gotta still feed my horse my oat, his oats, and uh, yeah. So. Are you gonna take your um? What's that? Are you gonna take your horse to the old town road? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> All right, bud. I'll catch you later. All right, see you, bud. All right. Well, now that that's done, uh, we're gonna go give my horse some oats. He likes his oats. Honestly, that water trailer is gonna last him for literally ever. I think. I probably will get Jake's big baler out here, and I'll end up cutting this in another episode. But we pretty much got everything done that we can do today. Um, I'm just going to grab my four-wheeler here and go back to the house. All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode for today. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.